بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate and from him do we seek help All praise be to Allah, the sustainer of all the worlds and blessings and peace be upon our master Muhammad and on all his family and companions. The second is the people listening to the master's words and accepting them. That is to say, the master's existence is the cause of the palace's existence and the people's listening to him is the cause of the continuation of the palace's existence. In which case it can be said that if it was not for the master, peace and blessings be upon him, the glorious king would not have built the palace. And again, it may be said that when the people do not heed the master's peace and blessings be upon him's instructions, the palace will of a certainty be transformed and changed. Friend, the story ends here. If you have understood the meaning of the comparison, come and behold its reality. The palace is this world. Its roof is the heavens illuminated with smiling stars and its floor, the face of the earth, adorned from east to west with multifarious flowers. As for the king, he is the most holy one, the pre-eternal and post-eternal monarch, whom all things in the seven heavens and the earth glorify and extol, each with its particular tongue. He is a king so powerful he created the heavens and earth in six days, then abided on the throne, one of power and majesty, who, alternating night and day, like two threads, one white and one black, writes his signs on the page of the universe, one to whose command the sun, moon and stars are subjugated. The apartments of the palace are the 18,000 worlds, each of which has been set in order and decorated in a fashion suitable to it. The strange arts you saw in the palace are the miracles of divine power you see in this world. And the foods you saw there allude to the wonderful fruits of divine mercy in this world, especially in summer, and above all in the gardens of Bala. The stove and kitchen there is the earth here, which has fire in its heart and the face of the earth while the jewels of the hidden treasuries you saw in the comparison are the similitudes of the manifestations of the sacred divine names. And the embroideries there, and the signs of the embroideries, are the well-ordered and finely worked beings and the harmonious impresses of the pen of power which adorn this world and point to the names of the all-powerful one of glory. As for the Master, he is our Master Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. His assistants are the prophets, peace be upon them, and his students, the saints and purified scholars. The ruler's servants in the palace indicate the angels, peace be upon them, in this world. And the guests invited to the banquet to spectate in the comparison are the jinn and mankind in this guest house of the world, and the animals, who are the servants of mankind, as for the two groups, one of them here consists of the people of belief, who are the students of the all-wise Quran, the interpreter of the verses and signs of the book of the universe. The other group are the people of unbelief and rebellion, who follow Satan and their evil commanding souls, deaf and dumb, like animals or even lower. They form the group of the misguided, who recognize the life of this world only first group. These are the felicitous and the good, who listen to the master, the possessor of two wings. He is both the worshipping servant of Allah in regard to worship, he describes his sustainer, so that he is like the envoy of his community at the court of Almighty Allah. He is also Allah's messenger. With regard to messengership, he conveys his sustainer's decrees to men and the jinn by means of the Quran. This happy community heeded the messenger and listened to the Quran. They saw themselves invested with the prescribed prayers, 
which are the index of all the varieties of worship, and numerous subtle duties within elevated stations. Indeed, they saw in detail the duties and stations which the prayers point to with their various formulas and actions. It was like this. Firstly, since they observed the divine works, and in the form of a transaction in the absence of the person concerned, saw themselves in the station of observing the wonders of sovereignty of dominicality. They performed the duty of extolling and glorifying Allah, declaring, Allahu Akbar. Allah is most great. Secondly, through being seen in the station of the herald of his brilliant and wonderful works, which are the manifestations of the sacred divine names, exclaiming, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah. Glory be to Allah, all praise be to Allah. They performed the duty of hallowing and praising Allah. Thirdly, in the station of perceiving and understanding with the inner and outer senses the bounties stored up in the treasuries of divine mercy, they started to carry out the duty of thanks and praise. Fourthly, in the station of weighing up with the scales of their spiritual faculties, the jewels in the treasuries of the divine names. They began the duty of praise and declaring Allah to be free of all fault. Fifthly, in the station of studying the sustainer's missives, written with the pen of power on the plan of divine determining, they began the duty of contemplation and appreciation.